Hey, it's Samir. I'm with Adolescent Content, and you're watching Native NYC. Today, we're in Washington Heights. Hey, I'm Waverly Fredericks, dancer, model, and choreographer, and we got ourselves a Broadway slice. Okay. What, what is this park, and what, what does it mean to you? Uh, this is Edgecombe Park. Mm -hmm. This park is very dear to me because I would come here almost every day and every night since I was five years old. Oh, my God. This is the park that my mom used to play in as well. So it's very, it's very dear to me and my family. Tell me about the Broadway Slice. What's up with the Broadway Slice? Okay, the Broadway Slice is probably my favorite pizza that I've had in the city. Okay. And what makes it even better is that it's in Washington Heights. Mm -hmm. So anything that's in Washington Heights, I'm like, oh, I have to have it. I loved growing up in Washington Heights. I think Washington Heights has always been a place that like, I just always considered home. And like, I felt like my most comfortable here. I think it kind of shaped how I have like this hustle mm -hmm. within my art, within my movements. E even like, it's always like down to like how I choreograph or like how I dance, like specifically, there's always like this um, grittiness to it that just looks like I always want it. So what's like like cultural background and mm. family background yes. like for you? So my family is full on Caribbean. Oh yeah. Yes. I, I noticed that because you said curry chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Because we say chicken curry, uh, but y'all say curry, curry chicken. chicken. Yeah. Yes. See, it's the little things. Yeah, yeah. It's the little things. Yeah. So my family's um Trinidadian and my dad's also from St. Croix. So how do you think that, like, having that Caribbean background... Ooh, what? Yeah. That Caribbean background, oh my gosh, I love Caribbean music. Mm -hmm. I mostly choreograph, whenever I'm, I'm choreograph, like, whenever I'm choreographing something, I'll play Caribbean music, I'll play hip-hop music, I'll play trap music while I'm choreographing because there's really nothing else that helps feed my mind. So for those who don't know, mm -hmm. you're on a little TV show. Yeah. So you think you can dance. Yeah. And so on the show, I mm -hmm. saw you did an amazing piece called Eternity, right? Yes. How was that like? And you, you said that you practice this in your in your room and then yeah. for, for that to go to your room to the it's like, an, like a mm -hmm. TV show. Like, yeah. let, let's talk about that. Whenever I'm cre like choreographing, I like to do it in small places or like not in studios, because I get, um, I kind of get blocks in my head whenever I'm choreographing like a big room. I like to choreograph in like small, intimate areas. So when I transferred it on to a stage, it was kind of like <laughs> one of the biggest transitions ever, but I was happy that I was able to show my most authentic, unique um, voice on a big national platform like that. Because I think that's more important, mm -hmm. showing your most authentic self. Have you ever experienced like any like obstacles or Oof. hardships in your career? Ooh, yeah. Uh, I think the most hardest obstacle that I've had to go through was probably be self-doubt. Hmm. And, and insecurities as well. I feel like they've been within my own self, all of my obstacles, because I feel like those obstacles are the hardest ones to also get through in the also the hardest ones to overcome, especially when it's in your own mind. I went through a lot of insecurities within my body. So like I was always the only black, tall, long-legged, long-armed individual in every room that I've been in. So it goes to a point where it's like, it is what I am not good enough for what I'm doing? So it took a lot of self-searching, a lot of time with my own self. If you could give any piece of advice to any other Ooh. dancers or any other artists who are feeling like, oh man, like, I don't know where this is going or right. anything like that, what, what would you say to them? It's just knowing that to just be yourself because everyone else is taken. Like, that is, it's, that's it, true. It's really as simple as that. Like, if you just hone in to like, what you like, what makes you different, then you, everything will just come to you naturally. If there could be a Waverly Slice, Ooh. where would it be? Extra cheese, because I'm extra. <laughs>